To use Remotely Possible, you'll need to install software on your PC as well as on your Windows Phone. So you'll want to go to validbit.com and from there click on Remotely Possible. Choose Windows Phone from this screen and on the next page choose the first link for getting Remotely Possible software. From here you'll find a download link to the latest build of the software. Choose this and save it to your hard drive. Once the file is downloaded, go to the zip file and extract the executable to a temporary location such as your desktop. From here, double click the executable. You'll get a prompt for elevation. Choose yes and allow the setup program to install remotely possible for Windows. At the end of the setup process, you'll be prompted for a password. This is not your Windows password, this is a new password that you can choose for allowing your remotely possible application on your phone to connect to your PC. Choose OK to set the password. And now you're ready to connect from your device. Once remotely possible is installed, you'll find that it runs in the tray of your Windows 7 PC. Even if you close the application using the X in the upper right corner, the application continues to run unless you choose File, Exit Remotely Possible. In general, you'll want to leave it running so that you'll be able to connect remotely using your phone at any time. To connect to your Windows PC from Remotely Possible on your phone, you'll need to know the IP address of your computer. To find that out, go to your Start menu and type Command to bring up a command prompt. Hit Enter and type IP Config. This will show you IP configuration information for your computer, including your computer's IP address. It will look something like this, 192.168.1.18.